Hey, well, hello, this is Chris at Raven's Gawk Studio, and uh, this tutorial is an introduction to layers and the layer tree and the different things you can do with layers. In the first tutorial, um, I made some basic head shapes, and you can see them here. Uh, I used the tracing image. We went up and selected a tracing image, which wasn't necessary. You can draw the head shapes without a tracing image. And we went over some of the tools for drawing and filling these head shapes with color. Um, right now they are not filled because if you look at the lower right corner over here in your layers tree, you'll see that layer 1, there's a little gray box. And if you click it, a pair of eyeballs come up and that makes the layer uh, visible in the working mode. If you want to make the layer invisible, uh, in the render mode, you double click it and there's a little visible checkbox here and this makes the layer invisible uh, when you're rendering the project but that's not important right now. For now all you have to need to know is that these eyeballs will turn on and off your layer for working. I'm going to uncheck this advanced tab as well and hide some of the uh, items in the style palette so that we can see the larger view of the layer tree. So this is layer one and when I made the head shapes everything was made in one layer. And if you remember we went on to talk about rotating and translating points and moving things around using points. Can move that head around. Uh, now we're going to use the layers palette over here on the left and I'm just going to check the first one which is translate layer and because all these heads are on one layer without actually selecting any of the points you can move the entire layer and just like with the points you can scale the layer and you can rotate the layer spin it around uh, and there's also perspective. You can change the perspective. Just like with the drawing tools, the layer tools have the same basic function. Except it affects everything in that layer, not just the points that are selected. <clears throat> if you look over to the right here in the layers uh, tree, there's a new layer selection and a duplicate layer selection and there's also a trash can to uh, delete the layer which is a permanent deletion you can't undo that once you've deleted a layer it can't be undone but we're gonna basically uh, focus right now on vector layers which is uh, basically a layer that you can draw in so I'm going to select layer, uh, vector layer and you'll see we have layer 1 and now layer 2. We're going to rename this layer 2 and we're going to rename it front view. And then we're going to come over here and use our lasso tool to grab this. Well, first we have to select layer 1. All right. Select layer 1 and use your lasso tool to grab the head shape, which is the front view head shape, and hit Command C, which is to copy, and then in front view, we'll hit Command V, which is to paste, and you'll see that it pasted another head right on top of it. I'm going to um, click the eyeballs on layer 1 so that we're only dealing with the front view head shape. And I'm going to put that right in the center. I'm going to go back to layer 1. I'm going to uh, create a new layer, a new vector layer. It's calling it layer 3. We're going to uh, name that right view and 
and then come back to our original layer one where the heads are and we're going to lasso the entire head we have to use the lasso because I've added some eyeballs just very basic eyeballs as uh, markers just to mark the head position and uh, it, it won't grab the eyeballs by just using the uh, select translate points selector you have to use the lasso point selector to get all those points in there so we're also going to command C and we're going to command V that right into the right view and if you turn off the eyeballs again from layer one you'll see on the right view layer we see only the right view head now what we're going to do is uh, create another layer vector layer it says layer four we're going to double click that and name that left view now while we're in the left view uh, layer I'm going to deselect the right view I'm going to hit command V again because we still have the right view copied into the uh, clipboard so I'll hit command V again you'll see the right view comes up and up at the top here you'll see um, flip horizontally we're gonna flip this layer horizontally it looks to the left and now we have a left view so if you turn everything off and then turn them on one at a time, you'll see we have our front view, our left view, and our right view. And I'm just going to go ahead down and uh, continue to add layers, vector, this is layer 5, I'm going to name this down left. Hit OK, go back to layer one to where I want to grab it from. And this is going to be our, oops, don't grab that one. This is going to be our down left view. Command C, drop it into the down left. Command V, turn off layer one, and you'll see we have our left view head. And we want to be moving these all to the center as well, if I haven't done that yet. all centered up in the front view okay back to the down left we'll turn on the down left layer and we're going to make a new layer another vector layer it's calling it layer six we're going to rename it down right hit okay we still have the uh, layer in our clipboard so all we have to do is hit command V again we'll get another down left view while all the points are selected we are going to flip it horizontally and now we have a down right view of this head we turn them all on you see them stacked in there turn them all off turning layer one back on we have the side view over here we're gonna make another uh, vector layer layer seven it's calling it so we're gonna call this left view left side left side view and go back to layer one grab this left side view head command C paste it command V in the left side pull it to the center make another layer vector layer it's calling it layer 8 we're gonna rename it right side paste it in again command V flip it and now we have a left and right side layer. And this layer one uh, that down here that we started with, you can just double click on and uh, click the visible tab if you want to keep it. You can make it invisible by clicking this visible tab again. Or you can just delete it all together because we don't need it.
So I am going to delete this layer. This action cannot be undone. Yes, delete that layer. So if we turn on all of them, you can see the layers stacked up there. And we got one that's a little, who's he there? That, is that the front view? We'll keep turning on until, up oh, there he is. And we'll just knock him down a little, get everything about in the same position, roughly, as the others. So this is all the layers turned off. We have the down right, front, down left, left view, right view, right side, and left side. So why is this all important? Well, if you want to create motion in Anime Studio, one of the ways to do that is to utilize what they call a switch layer. So if you come into your new layer and hit switch, you'll see this layer eight here, we can drag it all the way to the top. This layer eight is called a switch layer. And we'll just name this head shapes. And one at a time, from the bottom up to maintain the order, we're gonna drag the layers into the head shapes layer and you'll know it's going into that layer because it turns red. So all these layers into the head shape. You'll see the little icons here uh, actually move over and index themselves beneath the head shape so if you get lost you know you're on your last one because there's there are no more they're all lined up under the head shape. There are no more over here as a vector. So now what that enables us to do is with this head shape uh, switch layer, if I right click on it now, and I can choose between any of these vector layers that are stored within the head shape layer. So right view, we can change it to that one. We can change it to the down left, down right, right side and this is useful when you're doing mouth shapes for uh, lip syncing it's useful for blinking uh, for eye movements to move eyeballs right and left and you can just go through and scroll through all these different positions and we'll get them back to the front here so why is this important well, this is going to be a quick introduction to the timeline on a real basic level. This is your timeline, and we have, in the first uh, tutorial, we dropped it down. So if you put your arrow here near the timeline, you'll see the double arrow come up. You can drag it up so that you can see more of it. And real basically, this first, at the bottom here, you'll see the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4. And then right above it, you'll see the 24 the 48, the 72. This is 24 frames per second. It's set at 24 frames per second. You can change your frame rate up here in your preferences. We'll get into that later. So let's say I want within a one second time frame to turn this head three times or four times or however many times you want. You drag and slide your uh, playhead, this red uh, line here is your playhead. Right click on the head shape, select right side. You can slide the playhead again to 12. Right click on the head shapes switch layer. You can put it back to the front. You can slide the playhead or you can just click right on the 18. It doesn't matter. You can click right on any point or drag it. And we'll go with the left view. And then we'll go to 24. We'll go to the left side view. We'll go to the 30. We'll go to the down left view. We'll go to the 36. We'll go to the down right view. We'll go to the 42. We'll go back to the front and we'll click on the 48 and we'll get that back to the uh, 
downright, I guess. <laughs> so if you go above to where this uh, controls are for the timeline, you'll see the play stop. You'll see step back. You'll see rewind. You'll see previous keyframe. Previous keyframe just knocks it back to each keyframe, which are the little blue dots you see. The rewind will take it all the way back to frame zero. So now that we have our switch layers in uh, the timeline, we can hit the play button and you'll see that head turn back and forth between all the switch layers we've created. Turn, 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 turn. Turn, 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 turn. 